Hey, what is happening? This is Dark Sage 101, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Advance. Uh, one well, last episode, we let's see, what did we do? Um, oh, we did Yang's trial. That's what we did. Uh, finished that up. Beat uh, Lunar Titan, which was another kind of easy uh, lunar boss, uh, right around the same level as uh, Lunar Ifrit and. Uh, um, it was, yeah, Lunar Ifrit and um, Lunar Dragon. So really not that difficult. Now I actually forgot to show you the entry for uh, Lunar Titans. Let me show him really fast. There he is. 120,000. Pretty cool. Now actually, uh, I've actually got a beverage with me. It is a, um, mocha iced latte, which is interesting. It's kind of like a coffee, uh, cause I'm like really tired right now. Um, and actually I haven't tried this thing yet. So let's see how it, how it tastes. It sounds like a soda, but it doesn't. It smells quite nice. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, that's rather good. Oh, wow, that's really good. Okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that is really good. Uh, but in today's episode, we are going to be doing Edward's Trial. So, let's get started. Is this... Dampkin Castle? Well, it's not Dampkin Castle anymore. What's going on? Help. Hmm? The voice was coming from somewhere over there. Th this is... The... The Requiem? Rec Requiem. 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 Harp. Help me. Whoa. Help. Oh, okay. Well, we got a new enemy. The Spectre. Oh, dang. I'm not pressing anything, by the way. Cecil's just attacking it. Oh. Okay, it comes back. Interesting. Ugh. Wow, that thing doesn't die. This is endless. <clears throat> no, it's called Undead. <laughs> Wait. Wait. I'm not pressing anything, by the way. Cecil's just going absolutely, absolutely crazy on this guy. Wait. Oh. No effect. Requiem. My soul's been released. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, so what is he, like a Ghostbuster now? What is this? Can I equip that harp? Oh, I can. Neat. 158, wow, that's a really powerful weapon. We'll take it. Oh, so we have to release all these guys with the Requiem Harp? That would be my guess. I'm cold. What the heck is... Th oh, that's probably power. Deadly? Jeez. 
Might as well do that just to have the maximum chance to actually hit this guy. Did not mean to do that. Oops. All right, go ahead. Put that in there. Uh, okay, hold up. Nope. Sing. There you go. Missile's been released. So that's how you fight them. Wow, that is confusing. All right. Help me. Okay, so I just have pretty much everyone defend except Edward. Song of Silence. Hmm? Or not. Come on, Edward. Okay, I have no clue what Edward's doing right now. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Let me just attack that guy a couple times. That do it? Nope. Okay, it seems very inconsistent. Lag. There it goes. Soul's been released. Okay, actually, those things are kind of a pain. So I'm guessing you have to kill it at least once. And that's exactly what I did right there. All right, like, oh my gosh. I hate my keyboard so much. I went up and it didn't respond. All right, please sing, thank you. And that should be Requiem. Okay. So you have to kill it at least once and then you sing. And this is where Anna was. Anna was like right here. Hmm. Help. Okay, so do that because it's like pretty much guaranteed. Alright, nice. And then sing. Look at that. It's a rare. Okay, well it's one of these. Was that HP? Oh nice. Okay, that's really good. I'm so very cold. Alright, go ahead. And then sing. Alright, defend. Okay. Oh. Oh, no, that's not where you're supposed to go. Where are you supposed to go? <clears throat> oh, around. Oh my god, there was, there was a backside to this. Oh, and that guy. Help. 
I completely forgot about this guy right here. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Because Yang and Cecil are so fast, they get a turn just before Edward. So. Alright, go ahead. Phoenix down, sweet. Is that it? The air. I feel a cold air coming from somewhere. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Over here. Wow, I didn't know that. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, yeah, we're looking fine. Okay, so this just looks like another dungeon. I'm cold. Look, so we just gotta free all these guys. Fair enough. Okay, then do that and do that. I'm gonna finish this. It's actually really good. Okay. Wow, this is a long dungeon. All right, same dialogue. Do that. Oh, goodness. Sorry about that. What the heck? Oh, great. <sighs> so there's hidden passages too. That is so weird. Thing is, we still have, what, uh, two more after this? Yeah, we have Sid and we have the twins. So, Porm and Palum. Oh, oh my gosh, there was one right there. What is that? That's weird. Probably just like a visual glitch or something. Whoa, I was laggy. Do they get a bestiary entry? Wait. Yep, they do. Right here. They have 23,000 health. Wow. Huh. So they actually do have HP. They just have a lot. Uh, I'm going to go up here. I don't want to miss anything. I want to get all the, uh, all those spirits. Yeah, here's one right here. Because I guarantee there's like a really good reward after this. It's it's probably just going to be like roses where I got to do everything in the trial. <laughs> no effect. Okay, there's that. So there's no enemy encounter, right? That I have to deal with, at least from the look of it. 
That's good. <laughs> That's really good. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that. I was like, because to be honest, I do not feel like dealing with enemy encounter it. Okay, I think I got everything. Yeah, I got everything. Yep, we're good. Okay, there's nothing there. Just making sure. What a weird path. And I've already went up there, so let's go down here. Got all the souls right there. Check on this side, nothing. Also nothing. Alright, let's go straight forward. Oh. Whoa! The Requiem Harp has broken. Well, that's just awesome. That was actually a pretty good weapon. <laughs> Higher attack than the Apollo Harp. Great, I gotta go equip that Apollo Harp back. The living still remains, I see. That will not do. Now you shall you now you shall freeze to death. Oh, okay. Well, we got a boss. Another lunar boss. Lunar Shiva. You look pretty cool. Oh, triple? Sheesh. Okay. I need to go equip that um a ball of harp because this thing is, I believe, weak to fire. What'd I do? Okay, I equipped it. I thought I threw it away. Oh, my heart dropped. <laughs> I was like, oh, don't tell me I threw it away. I was going say, because that's a rare weapon. Oh my gosh, that hurt. Okay, now this is more like it. Glad I dropped the save state because this actually is going to be pretty hard. Now, oh, okay, so she uses Blizzard on herself. Okay, interesting. Oh, yeah, I definitely need to heal. We're in pretty bad shape right now. Nice. And then she heals for 3,000. That's not terrible. Because I'm, I'm hurting her more than she's healing. Okay, poor him. You need to heal big time. Alright, cure four. There we go. That's more like it. Yeah, because that really hurt. Goodness gracious. Okay, Blizzard 3, that's fine. Yeah, just do a normal attack. Pretty neat design. This, this, okay, this is way harder than Titan. I'm loving this. Oh, Titan was laughable compared to this. Yeah, this is actually pretty, pretty solid. Well, because she's doing between 1 and 3,000. Uh, damage, which is really, really... That's impressive. We're good, we're good. Uh, yeah, just holy. Gird's protect, we'll just do this.
75, 75 when we win. Wow, she didn't have much health. Uh, probably like 80,000, somewhere around there. That actually wasn't... It was fun. That was a fun fight. She hit really hard right there. But that wasn't too difficult. Alright, Grimoire LS. Let's go. It's over. Although, this may not be our world. I managed to save Damkin. And another spirit. Thank you. The heart... Harmin, Harminous? Harminous Ring. That must have been the uh, item for saving all the spirits. Rest in peace. What's the next? Alright, let's look at that. Uh, okay, so probably just improves the, uh, the sing ability. We'll take it. All right, there we go. That actually, that trial wasn't that difficult. It was actually a pretty short one. But we're not going to end it off just like that. No, we're going to actually run to uh, to Sid's trial. We're actually going to run there. Because I, I got to go through a whole big portion. So let's go on an adventure. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Here we go again. One, one, four, three, seven. One. And then four is over here. Three. And then seven's like straight down right down here one four three seven two five nine six Super simple. Super simple. Thank you. Even though I've already used the tent or cottage or whatever. Thanks. I've already been here. Yeah, I've already been here. Yeah, I'm just gonna play as Edward for this episode. What the heck is this? Okay, this looks new. Oh. I'm quite in a pickle. This place is so big, I can't seem to find the book I want to read. Oh, young one. Can you help me find the book called Mycidian History? I will dispense some vital information if you find it for me. Oh my gosh, will it be uh, my emulator stop lagging? Oh my gosh, come on. Okay, good. Okay, nothing, nothing. So I gotta check every single bookshelf. This is gonna take forever. Where are you? The book of Mycidian history is in the area with a clear view of the clock. The area, the clear view of the clock. You mean over there? I can't get. O I can't go over there. Clear view of the clock. Was there another clock? Oh, is it one of these? Yep, there it is. Oh no, never mind. Girls in the city. This looks educational, but no. Oh. I thought I found it there.
Is it this? Nope. Okay, well. Which clock? Journey for the Sand Ruby. Jeez. Okay, so it's not over there. Let's check over here. Got it. I was like, which clock? I actually want to talk to all these people. I saw a book. I saw the book of Mycenaean history around here somewhere. Same dialogue. Uh, who are you? Book of Mycenaean history is the bookshelf above the stairs. And then this guy. I haven't seen it. Wow, thank you. I haven't seen it. Uh, it's in the short bookshelf. Yep. I already found the book, so we're good. Here you go. Let me show you a secret path to get outside. Really? <laughs> I found it long, long time ago. Good luck with the rest of it. Good luck on the rest of your journey. I wasn't deaf. That wasn't really that difficult. Yeah, this is Rydia's right here. I can tell because the the music. Oh gosh, and this. Who are you? At uh, oh chant. That's what it is. Cool. Okay, so we got King Bomb, Grey Bomb, and Bomb. Okay, that really hurt. Well, let's get rid of the, the King Bomb. Wow, that thing's tanky. Okay, there we go. Yeah, these guys don't have much health. And then it's just a basic bomb, which I think Palom can just take him down. Yeah. All right, easy fight. Mm, there's one right there. There's two right here. There's two right there. Wow, okay, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, this, oh wow, those are old enemies. Spirit, really? That's old. I'll just go for the Lamia Queen. All right, Cecil, just go, go do damage cap on that guy. Thanks. <laughs> I, I knew he was going to do damage cap. Well, good. That was a super weak enemy. Did high damage to that guy. There we go. Ooh, 15,000. We'll take that. And this encounter again. Just kill this guy. Because why not? He's easy. He's one hit. Probably should use... Nah. There's no point in using a kick because it's like just so slow. And then go after this guy. To just have Sid do that. And then I'll just have poor him heal. Alright, cure three, Sid. 
There we go. That should kill it right there. There we go. Look, sir. We'll take it. Let's go over here. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that, that's the stuff from Mount Hobbs. Wow, those are old. Gargoyle and Skeleton. Yeah, easily damage cap right there. Wow, super weak enemies. Wow, Sid's actually hitting harder than Yang. Oh, well, yeah, because of Fireclaw. But that's still really impressive. His strength, I think, is I think it's 255. If not, it's close. It is 227. Because I know Cecil's is 255, and I think Yang's is also. No, oh, wow, Yang's <laughs> 154. I didn't think he was that low. Edge is at 131, and then Porum's at 71, because she's not an attacker. She's just a white mage. Alright, same old stuff. Holy on this person. Fire three and pour them. Three hundred and three. Congratulations. <laughs> pour them as ridiculous uh, magic defense. really all right there we go damage cap uh do i have yeah i do have float all right there elixir Looks like it is there anything else that's hidden Nope. Alright, let's go fight these last two. Pile Skirt. Oh, Blood Bones. That's old. That's another enemy from Mount Hobbs. Palace Guard. That's from Edge Trial. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's from Edge's Trial. Oh, I have bad memories of that trial. Oh my gosh, that was... Easily the worst one. It was for sure frustrating. The boss wasn't hard, it was just getting to him. Uh, just the same stuff. Whatever. Let's go for the King Bomb, and then just have Yang kill the, the rest of them. I think a kick will just kill all of them. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Okay, so nothing over there. Oh, there's still stuff. 
Yep, blood burns, weak enemy. And then go after the palace guard. Man, after that, still that coffee didn't wake me up. <laughs> no, I'm still really tired, which is kind of a good thing. Since I, I do want some sort of sleep. Like, I don't want that. I didn't want the coffee to just completely keep, keep me up all night. Because I do have some things to do tomorrow. Mainly one of them is off-screen grinding with Pokemon Order and Chaos. Because I barely even touched the game today. So. I, I've only leveled up uh, Sub-Zero. That's the only thing I did. I got him all the way up to 61, I think. So I didn't really do too much of anything. Everyone else is still exactly the same. Let me, let me just say, Sub-Zero is an absolute meat grinder. He has no problem grinding. Well, because he, he's, he's just one-shotting through everything. Even the Salamites, he's just one-shotting through. He's so powerful. Yeah, he just tears through enemies. So good. <laughs> I'm just talking about Pokemon because there's really nothing else to talk about. I mean, this is the same encounter pretty much over and over and over. Um, I don't know when I'm going to do another Pokemon episode. Probably... Uh, I don't know. To be honest, it's probably going to come out when it comes out. <laughs> like, I don't really have a set date for it. But if I if I had to make a date for it, it would probably be... Let's see, today is what? Tuesday? It's like Monday or Tuesday. No, yeah, it's Tuesday, I think. Is it Tuesday? It's... I... Don't, I don't keep track of the date anymore. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Uh, maybe Thursday, maybe Friday would be the next episode of Order and Chaos. Well, because tomorrow I'm going to do this and a uh, Le Legend of Zelda Minish Cap because I'm going to go beat Body really quick. It shouldn't be too difficult, especially with full health. I haven't touched the game in a while, so I still need to do a run uh, through the entire thing uh, without getting hit. Which is not going to be fun because uh, the Dark Nuts are the most frustrating things to fight. So... And you know which one I'm talking about, the, uh, the black one. The black Dark Nut. I think it's frustrating. I mean, it hits, what, like, two and a half hearts? It's... The thing hits hard. Oh, okay. Chaotic Knight. I haven't seen this thing in a while. You find these in the later, uh, the later parts of the... Of the, uh... The Memory Cave or whatever. Uh, I think they had, like, 23,000 health. So this is actually going to take a little while. I remember having, uh, they have Doom, I know that. And that. Yep. Oh gosh, yeah, I need to heal. All right, there we go. Got a nice flat 10,000, we'll take it. Uh, that's probably good enough. Yeah, 2,000, that's fine. Uh, Cockatrice, okay, that's fine. Gob Goblin Prince is garbage. 
The Garcatrices are still annoying because they can uh, they can turn you to stone, which is really annoying. The Goblin Prince is no issue whatsoever. Uh, we'll just do, yeah, Holy on the Palace Guard. And then just keep going for the Goblin Prince. I think it'll die in like, what, two or three hits. No, it died in one. One attack. Jeez. Well, yeah, because it's only got 8,000, which is pretty low for uh, the enemies around here. Because everything has at least 10,000 at this point in the game. There's, there's multiple enemies that have above that. They, they have like 20k, a few of them. Like the Chaotic Knight, for example. And some of the dragons. Alright, what's that? I guarantee that last one's going to be difficult because that's the last thing. Alright, what do we got? It's just a Chaotic Knight, okay. I'm guessing the treasure is really good if, like, you're guarding it with, like, three enemies. It's either going to be an elixir or something else. Uh, holy. Tornado on Yang, yep. I, like, I just healed him. So basically, Deadly allows me to uh, get a consistent damage cap out of Yang. That's pretty useful. Uh, Shura's Rod. Nice. Uh, that's a mage thing. Yeah, that's for, that's for uh, Palom. I don't have Palom right now. I, okay, talk to me, dude. Really? Really? Oh, gosh, not again. Oh, not this again. Dude, I hate the Platinum Toad one. I remember the Platinum Toad being an absolute, just absolute nightmare to find. Oh, gosh, not this again. It casts Toad on you, which is really annoying. I'm going to spend all day trying to find this thing. Got it. Alright. Now we just need to kill it as fast as possible because it's got like 9,000 9, health somewhere on there. So we need to kill this thing as fast as possible. Well, that's garbage. Right, go, 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 go. I'm trying to kill it as fast as possible. Okay, there we go. Got it. Ooh, Mega Elixir, nice. Okay, that was worth it. Alright, that was definitely worth that entire thing right there. Mega Elixir, oh man, that's a legendary item. <laughs> Gosh, I love those things. Alright. Alright, that was way worth it. Here. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, this again. Yeah, your item's kind of... Wow. I really can get a bunch of elixirs, but I'm not going to. What my inventory? Jeez Louise. Okay. Uh... I still want to keep the protect rings. 
I can get rid of that. Funny mask. That's for Yang. Alright, there we go. Just need, need to get rid of some, some stuff. Uh, well, Sid can't wear a shield. Yeah, he can't have a shield because he's using a hammer. Can't know that stuff I want. Oh, I think I already, I've already been here. Yeah, I've already been here. Yep. Yeah, I've already been here. I don't think there was really anything that was that good. Uh, this is Cecil's, I'm pretty sure. I apologize if this is taking a while to actually get to. I'm trying to find Sid. Sid's trial is one of the last ones. Yeah, it goes Sid and I think it's uh, the twins. Oh my gosh, it's gonna go straight forward. Centurion and Palace Guard. Oh gosh. This is the Sylvan Sylvan Cave. <sighs> Probably in like my top ten least favorite areas to deal with. Alongside uh the Cave of Summons. Both uh are definitely in my top 10 like worst areas to deal with oh they're just they're bad they're just bad comment down below if you guys want me to do a top 10 uh, worst areas list on here Because I can definitely do that. I'd do a top 10 of like, in my opinion, the worst areas in this game. But I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, Sylvan Cave and uh, Cave of Summons are both going to be in, in this. Uh, same with the, uh, the Babel Tower. Okay. What the heck is the point of that? Okay, there it goes. Dang it. Oh yeah, definitely not. Dragon Claw. Nice. It's a good grab. Claw again resistant against dragon races. Okay, that's really, really good. So basically, I, I, so, okay. So Yang's not going to take much damage from dragons. That's pretty good. Because we are finding a lot of dragons at this point in the game. Yep. Uh-huh. Are you serious? There's nothing over here? Okay, whatever. Dang it, dude. Oh, mammoths. Yeah, those were bad. Same encounter. Yeah, whatever. At least 16,000. I have 3 million right now. Uh, already been over there. Okay, I need to go. Oh my gosh. I want to, I want to go back. I want to keep encountering things. All right, there we go. Gosh darn. Great time to get, time for them to start spamming bad breath and have me lose, well, waste MP for Asuna. Yep. And I just call it. Gosh, I hate that move.
Dang it. No, I didn't. I did not mean to go in there. I meant to check the pot. That's fine. Oh, this is the Tower of Zot. I can tell because that, that entrance right there. Well, it's because of the, the floor for the for the battlefield. Yeah, it's because the, uh, the Tower of Babel is pink. This is chrome. So this is fine. Yeah, this... This is a uh, Tarzot. My emulator needs to stop lagging. Okay, what's this? Remedy. I think that was originally a fire armor. Come on. Let's check over here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, Sorceress. Come on, let me move. Gosh, this encounter rate. Okay, there's nothing. This is Rosa. Gosh, we're not even close. Because I think after this is... I don't think it's Kane. No, Kane's after the twins, I think. Gosh, I'm never gonna find this thing. I just wanna get to SIDS. Oh my gosh, dude. I know this is this episode has been going on for a while, but I just wanna get to SIDS trial. Just so when I start up the uh the next episode, we can immediately do Sid's trial. <sighs> Take one step in an ambush. This account raid's been awful this playthrough. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's dead end. So I need to get to this door over here. There we go. And this is the old waterway. Yeah. The the sewer. Pretty much right outside of Baron. Or in Baron. Gishal whistle. Yep. Hydra. Yep. Please leave me alone, enemies. Just want to grab these chests. Thank you. Oh my gosh, this internet. The, not internet. This encounter it. I, you know, I'm gonna say it again. I wish there was a spell in this game that would basically act as a repel from Pokemon, where for a limited time, um, you don't encounter anything for like a set amount of steps. Like, oh my gosh, because this encounter is so annoying. Like when I'm trying to explore a dungeon and that, and like. Constant, just encounter, 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 encounter. Like when I'm trying to explore something, it gets really annoying. When I'm trying to do puzzles and stuff, like what you saw in Edge's Trial, there's been a, there was a few occasions where it messed me up. How the heck can I get to that chest? Hey, hold on. Okay, there it goes. Oh, jeez. 
All right, well, that works. Yep. Oh, look, more. Uh, this is what well, looks like the Eblin Cave. Yeah, it is because of uh, bloody bats. Yeah, that's Eblin. Oh my gosh, please let me move. Try Aether. Yep. This is... Oh, what was this? That's Edge. Yeah, that's Edge. Troya. Yeah, it's Edge. I'm pretty sure. That's either Edge or Kane. Because Sid's is, the, is his theme, and then Palamon Porum's is... You already know what that one is. Hey, hey, we should call for help. Our attacks are barely doing any damage. We should have brought a mage with us or leveled up. One of the two. Dang it. Oh, the flan enemies. Mm hmm. Golden Flan. I remember that thing. That thing was a pain because I had really high stats. Please let me move. I love how half of my encounters is literally I take one step. It's empty, yep. Hey, did you know if a chest is open, it's empty? What? That changes everything. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh yeah, this. I forgot about this one. Yeah, I remember doing this. Cause I was a mage. Yeah, I was in there. And I was rear guard. Uh, perform magic trick. And that was also red. Which was, uh, it basically planned battles. A mage, yeah! <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, this looks new. Wait, 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 wait. Well, I want to at least get the SIDS just in case it's like a brutal one or whatever. Oh my gosh, look at this layout. Jeez. That crate looks suspicious and I want to get there. What is this? Loki's loot. Okay, that's a thing for Edward. The ultimate loot. Jeez, 183. Dang, dude. That's a nice grab. I was just saying, because that looked suspicious. 
elixir. Nice. And magic dragons, also nice. What a weird layout. Dry ether. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, another encounter. Who would have guessed? Can I just move, please? Thank you. Oh my gosh, I hate this. Let me get to the exit, please. What is this? That is Kane. Jeez, took forever. Oh boy, I th I think Sid's is right after this. The good thing is with Pelham and Porums, I, I only have to get through like one part. Nice. Back elixir, we'll take it. You know what I gotta say about that? Because that is a legendary item. It's kind of funny, one cure two, uh, not cure two, one cure three, and Edward's almost fully healed. That's just how little health he's got. Oh gosh, this again? I remember this. Gosh, I remember this being like impossible. Yep. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna hate this. Because I remember one of these you can't run away from. It was a melt bomb, I'm pretty sure. Okay, go. Okay, good. Jeez. Come on, dude. Firewood. It's just this firewood. It's probably a joke item or something. I'm still gonna take it though. My inventory's full though. Here, just take the potions. I don't care. Obtain firewood. Sweet. Clear, clear water. Pure translucent water. Yep. Nope. Uh, we'll get rid of vampire fang. Clear water. This is weird. Dang it. Oh my gosh, let me move. Okay. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, it doesn't look like there's... Oh my gosh. Oh, the lifeless tree. Oh, but, so that's the firewood? Nothing happened. Oh, I know what it means. Uh, the water. Where's the water? Uh, clear water, where are you? There you are. Ah! Obtain honey. Okay. That's kind of interesting. Uh... 
Uh, hidden? Nope. What is this? Of a small bear. Oh, so bear honey. Yep. Okay, I don't want to touch that. Jeez. Can I move? Gosh, this encounter rate. This encounter is really starting to be really starting to get annoying. What is this? I got a doll. Cool. Oh, I, I thought it said, oh, uh, do you want to pick up a piece of fire? I'm like, how the heck does that work? Fire isn't a, a solid thing. Ugh, just give her the shuriken. We don't need it. If I was been... Okay, ow, ow, ow. Lantern. That's the torch. Yep. There's still a chest over there, though. How do I get that? Summer girl looking down on the ground. That's the dull. Yep. That doesn't explain how to get to that chest, though. Maybe I go around or something? Yeah, probably. Oh, maybe, maybe I do. I, I don't know. That was the exit. Gosh darn it. Whatever. It's probably not that good. Okay, finally said. Gosh. Alright, well, comment down below what was actually in that chest. And if it's something important, I'll, I'll run all the way back and I'll grab it. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, what a long journey that was. You know, I, I'd say that was harder than actually doing the trial. Uh, Edward, Edward's trial was not hard. That was a really easy trial. The, the boss, the, the lunar boss, fun. It was easy, but it was fun. So, yeah, see, that was that was good design. That was a really good fight. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one, which will be tomorrow. Next episode, we're going to be doing Sid's trial. And if we have enough time, we'll go through uh, another part of Lunar Ruins just to get to uh, the Twins trial, Pelham Forum. So, see you on the next one. Goodbye.